starting to gather up all my ingredients for the meal. Yes. First thing we're gonna do is whisk extra olive, virgin olive oil. One cup of extra virgin olive oil. One cup. So what are you making, Dana? I'm making the Olive Garden chicken carbonara, if I'm pronouncing it right. One cup, cup of yeah. hot water. Yeah. Now it says for me to use one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. So half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon. This one, and you know, I'm lazy. So I don't chop up the garlic because I don't think I can get it really small. So I just buy already the chopped up garlic. So this one says one tablespoon of the chopped up garlic. Okay, so this one says for me to use three pounds of chicken. This one is one pound, 13 ounces. This is one pound, 19 ounces. But I'm just going to cut them up and use what I got. So now I have to cut up the chicken into like chicken strips. Somebody use, somebody, oh, so cold. <laughs> Ew. Then after the butter, it says add garlic. One and a half teaspoons. Why did you change your shirt, Jesse? It's hot outside? Yeah. Ew. So now this is gonna be a quarter cup of the bacon bits. Saute for five minutes, okay. Gonna mix it around a little bit. And it says over medium, so maybe I'm just gonna put it down a little. There you go. So now, what did the movie Ratatouille teach us about cooking? Um, always keeping everything clean. Keep your stations clean. So while this is being sauteed for five minutes, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna start cleaning up my, my station. Things that I don't need. I don't need this. I don't think I need this. This goes in the fridge. So I'm gonna start like washing the dishes. That way I'm ready for my second stage of the process of cooking. Okay, I had to change my shirt because I was getting really hot. Um, so now the next step is for me to add flour. So this is where I keep my flour. Okay, so after the flour, it says Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese. And then, I usually print this out, just like I have all my print out here. But this is just a last minute meal. Four cups of the heavy cream. Four cups of milk. I never keep milk in my fridge. This is almond milk, but I've made meals for him using the almond milk and he hasn't really noticed. So hopefully <laughs> you don't notice this one either. So four cups of milk, you know, it's almond milk, but you won't notice. Hopefully, hopefully with this meal, you, you don't like really see, I mean, taste the difference. Salt is gonna say, he likes pepper, so I'm not even gonna like measure the pepper. So use a wire whisk to whip all the ingredients together. Bring to a boil, reduce heat, and allow to simmer, okay. So once it's boiling, then I'll do that. So right now we're gonna double team and she's gonna be whisking um, nice and slow because you don't want it to like spill over. She's gonna start whisking while I start cleaning up because keep your station clean. Also put in like some roasted peppers. And just a little bit of like um, adobo and stuff um, just to give it a little bit more flavor because the only thing is actually to add is like salt and pepper. And I don't know, you know, I don't think that's enough. I mean, I don't know, what the hell do I know? But, um, okay, so this I have simmering, and then it says combine um, Romano cheese, Parmesan, mozzarella, panko, chopped garlic, melted butter, and chopped parsley into a mixing bowl. A mixing bowl. Add a cup more of the Parmesan cheese, mozzarella, garlic, and the parsley. Okay, perfect. Garlic. And and parsley. Okay. And then I'm gonna do it a little bit, but what I need to do is I'm gonna roast my peppers. So while this is like, I mean, frying, that's what I'm doing, is frying the peppers. So while 
That is fine. I'm going to be mixing all of this together. It's really hot. So since I can't taste it because I'm vegan and it has, of course, you know, bacon. cheese and bacon and all of that, I'm going to have my tester. Angela, please taste it and let me know how it tastes so far. It's good. Okay. So now give her a spoon so she can taste it. The second taster. You think it's good? Doesn't need any more seasoning, salt, mm -hmm. pepper. It's good. Uh, it's perfect. Ball. It's perfect in there. Perfect. Okay. So I'll just add. I love that smell. So I'm just gonna like. Can Sabrina have more of this? So I have a little helper today. Thank you for helping. And a second um, helper. And a second helper, but she seems to be like always running off. So I got one that doesn't run off. I don't. I'm just trying to be with Toothless. Say hello, Toothless. <laughs> um, so I'm doing like, I'm cleaning my station as I cook. I have to put all these dishes away because it's all flowing and I have a little bit more dishes on here. But so far we are at the part of where the chicken is being cooked and stuff. So I'm going to let that cook a little bit more. I'm going to add like the bacon bits and then um, mix the whole sauce in there as well. Hopefully it comes out okay. All right, girls, I'm going to have you taste the chicken. Ooh, I'm excited. Well, thank you. Be careful with toothless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So delicious. Okay, so now I'm just gonna mix the chicken into the sauce. I kind of let it like fry a little bit. Um, it didn't tell me to do that, but I think it was gonna give it like a little bit better flavor. So now we mix the chicken in there. Mix everything in here. And then uh, when the pasta is done, it's said for me to also mix the pasta in here. And then I'm gonna put it in the oven. Ooh, you want to taste it yes. now? Yes! Okay, we're going to taste it now. Mm, mm. What does it need? It's perfect. Yeah, it's good. need you to taste the food, please. It's the meal that Daddy always gets from Olive Garden, the chicken habanero. Wait a minute, is this the thing I always get at Olive Garden? No, it's not chicken yoki. It looks like chicken yoki. But that's a humongous bite! And then, what happened? So much cheese. Oh, it's too much cheese? Okay, so now the final step. Add it in there. Mix it up. It oh. looks so good. That, that. So now this is the finishing touch. It smells so delicious. All right, let's go sit down and eat. Okay, bye. You like it? Mm, I, I love I, it. I think you do. So my husband is home. I put the meal in the oven so you can get it like nice and crispy on the top. Ooh, it's so hot. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Super hot, I said. What do you think? It tastes just like all the time. Really? It does. <gasps> oh my God, really? <gasps> oh, I'm so glad and I know you're not bullshitting because you never care to tell me when something tastes bad. <sighs> so it's like a... I could do a next time type of meal. You said don't lie to you, so don't lie. I know, I know. And I don't want you to lie to me because if you lie to me, then I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna cook it the same way the next time and then it's gonna taste bad, so there's no point of you lying to me because you can have another non-tasting good food, you know? Good food. Oh here, I have it. It's right there. I was gonna bring it. You wanna taste it now? I mean, yeah. Sure. Okay.